What's up guys? Welcome to another GeoServer tutorial in the GeoServer tutorial series. Um, so last time we had a look at uh, the web map service uh, operations and today we are going to look at uh, the web feature service, the WFS uh, operations. And uh, some of these that we are going to look at uh, include the get capabilities, uh, describe feature type and uh, the get feature among others. So uh, in our previous video we ha we were using these uh, rests uh, the rest client advanced rest client for Google Chrome uh, but you can use whichever rest client you prefer uh, if you uh, you can there are quite a number out there uh, but this is what we are using uh, for this case and then we already have assumed that you have installed your geo server and published some layers there if you have not done so you can refer to my video on publishing or uh, adding uh, layers into geo server and you can also if you have not installed your geo server and wondering how to install it you can refer to my video on installing geo server in windows and uh, also another one in installing in linux uh, specifically ubuntu uh, distribution. So today we are going to look at the WFS and uh, let's jump onto it. So this is my Geo server that is running on my local machine and uh, we have what you call the WFS which stands for web, web feature service and we have three versions that are supported. We have the 1.00, 1.1.10, 1 uh, 2.0.0 and uh, we have if you look at the layer preview we have these uh, we have four layers that uh, we are going to use so something that we did not mention or forgot to mention in our previous video is that uh, you can know which formats are supported by geo server both in the web map service and the web feature service by just clicking on these uh, items select one uh, under all formats column uh, for each layer so you can select, for example, if I click on this drop down, you see that under select one, we have the web map service and all these are the formats that are supported by GeoServer from Atom Pub and all these up to the UTF grid. And then we have WFS under WFS, which is a web feature service. We have uh, all these from CSV to the text uh, slash CSV. So that one can help you or can give you an idea of you know how to to deal with this so for example since today we are working with the web, web feature service or wfs we're going to click for example if i click on geojson uh, this is what i'm getting i'm getting an exception uh, i don't know why uh, let's try something else like a uh, shape file uh, it's also throwing an exception uh, okay CSV, yeah, so my WFS seems not to be working, but and you are going to use a REST client which can help us understand whether what the, what the problem is or where the actual problem is. So I have these URLs. Uh, last time I was using the uh, Visual Studio code, but I realized it's a bit dark. So I decided to stick to this. So we have this URL. Uh, we'll start first of all start with the get capabilities URL, which is this. Um, so we have the URL up to this point, and the directory or the server where it is the path for the server, and then we have the requests. In this case, this stands for OGC Web Services, the OWS, and the specific service that we are requesting for its capabilities is the WFS or the Web Feature Service. Then we have this version. We are using version 2.0.0. In your case, you might be using some other version or feature versions that may come up. And then we have the requests, which is uh, the get capabilities. So I'll just paste. First of all, remove this and paste. And uh, I should be getting an output. So this is how it looks like, just similar to the previous one but with some differences. So we have the, it's a geo server web feature service and uh, we have the provider name and all that, the emails and all that. And then we have the supported uh, versions and uh, 
we have other things like the supported uh, operations. Uh, we have the HTTP GET and HTTP POST. And in this case, we are using, in our REST client, if you've noted, we are using the GET uh, for advanced uh, users. Uh, they understand uh, if you have worked with the API uh, or other APIs, you may have come across these terms. Uh, but we are not going to look at them because uh, it's out of the scope of this video. So we have this XML. This is the output. And uh, we have all these. We have also the formats. These are the same formats that we have just seen in the in the drop down. So these are the supported formats. And uh, we have, you know, it's quite detailed. It's quite long. We have so many things, including the layers that are there, you know, that have been published. So that is the get capabilities. It's quite, it comes quite in handy because it gives you the inf all the information on uh, the partic particular service, for example. Then we are going to look at the describe feature type. So the describe feature type, what it does is that it should return a description of feature types that are supported by the WFS. And uh, here we have uh, extracted around four URLs. So we'll start with the first one. Uh, let me highlight it up to this point. So you notice the request is get feature. Uh, this request has now changed from... Sorry, I've uh, jumped the gun. So we have the described feature layer. This is the one that we are doing now. And it has to uh, fetch two URLs. You'll notice the request in this case is describe feature type for both of these. So we will start with the first one and see what it uh, outputs for us. that describe feature type. So this is what we have. Uh, so it describes the features that are supported by the WFS. In this case, this is one layer. And to confirm this, you can open the browser and see uh, we, if we have GADM can 2. Yeah, we have it, which is this one. And uh, we have, these are the field names name one, name two, inch, inch type two and all that. And then we have the same, same layer uh, with other items. So uh, this is its output, it's not very big, but it gives the same fields for each layer. Like for this layer, we have different fields, URL, GLCF and all that. And to confirm these also, let me put it on the side here and uh, go back to my geo server uh, open which is this layer uh, this layer is called landsat path ke so if i open my landsat uh, landsat sorry if i open my landsat path ke and i open layers and click on one of these items you notice that you have this fid pr path row and url glcf and you'll notice that we have all these items except for the geom. So the geom is a geometry field, is a field that contains uh, that location uh, data or the coordinates. Uh, so that is how uh, it looks like. So that is uh, for the describe feature layer and then feature type rather. And then we have this one. So this one of added an extra parameter which is the type name and i've added the layer the specific layer with which in which i want to know the uh the feature type so i'll paste the url in this client rest client and expand it and after i've pasted it and click send this is what we have so you'll note that it it is displaying only one it is displaying for only one layer so this is because i've filtered it uh, you can imagine if you have a million layers and you only want to describe feature of type for one layer so or, yeah, or something like that so it can come in handy so that is for the describe feature type and then we have the get feature you remember in wfs or wms we looked at get map so the, this is like the alternative for the get map but now in the in the under uh, web feature service so we'll just copy this first url and you'll notice that the request here is get feature uh, and also type names. So let's see what happens when we add this into our REST client. So when you click send, 
yeah we get uh, this this is a field this is the layer and then this is a uh, it shows us the coordinate system EPSG 4326 which is a global coordinate system and then we have the it indicates the uh, geometry type which is a polygon and it shows uh, the geom this is uh, the geom this is a geometric field that contains the coordinates and uh, the coordinates are shown here below yeah so this is basically what it uh, gives us it gives us an output and uh, all these are represented by the these are the number of those uh, boxes in this case since we are dealing with lands Landsat path. So these are the. It shows the, uh, describes the features, all these features in this XML, and uh, we look at uh, the other items. So uh, this one will give us an output for the other uh, layer, which is uh, called the Sentinel two scenes. Yeah, and it looks similar. Uh, it's the same. So this one is longer because it has many uh, many items or many polygons. So multi polygon layer and it has many polygons more than the previous. And then we have we'll take this get feature name my workspace and now we'll give it a specific feature ID. So this is an additional parameter that we have added. And let's see what happens when we paste it. Yeah, so you notice that now we have some bundled up coordinates, a list of packed coordinates or an array of coordinates. Uh, this is because we have reduced or we have narrowed down to a specific uh, layer, uh, which is uh, this GADMKEN3. Uh, sorry, not a layer, but a feature. And uh, let me show you where this feature is. Uh, you can identify because this is a layer so if i click on any of these you'll notice the fid it's changing for every item so this is how we are fetching that and i think this is a uh, it's somewhere here yeah it is GADM KEN underscore three. So if I click on this, we have these three. So it is the one. So these are just the coordinates that create those uh, the lines and the polygons. And then we have all these others that follow uh, up. So the other item is uh, we we can use a parameter called max features or uh, count uh, let's see what it will give us as the output uh, I think it's going to time out and uh, we I walk around I walk around through this I walk around of this is to add the timeout value or to limit the features into a very small uh, data so let me paste this in our browser and see what happens yeah it's quite big as you can see so let's open it with something like Yeah, it's quite huge. So this is how it looks like. I even think it has been truncated because it's very big. No wonder we are receiving a, an error rather. Um, it's like it's timed out. But anyway, it should show a maximum of 10 features. And uh, let's look at the get properties. So get property value so the get property value gives us the uh, uh, details about a particular like a field name so in this case we are using the geom 
uh, the geometry field. We want to see what uh, details about the property, its properties. So let's start. So this is what we have. You notice that we have uh, specifiers that all the geometries in that layer, and they're indicated by these coordinates. Yeah. So if you go up and uh, yeah workspace the geom so it it filters all the layers with the geometry with respect to the geometry field and uh, we can also do it generically or we can check the list of uh, stored queries although we are not going to get into deep into the queries but you can use there is what you call the cql uh, you, that is used to query uh, items or query layers uh, or features in the using the WFS. So this just returns uh, stored queries, uh, layers that are uh, have stored queries, and all the four layers have are the stored queries. And uh, this brings us to the last item. So this is uh, our last. Uh, property that you are looking to which is get property value and for more detail you can refer to the geo server the wfs documentation you can check at uh, services web feature service oh not sure whether it's reference the wfs reference yeah, we can find everything here on this items that we have discussed and others like the queries. We have not looked at the queries, but these queries are very powerful and they can help in filtering and all that. Uh, yeah. So click like, share and uh, also subscribe uh, to my content and uh, we keep also posted and for more uh, similar content uh, on uh, the same. And also, you can give suggestions and uh, comments uh, where necessary on items that we can look at.